Alright guys, so I got another recorded battle. This one's from Xerxes um, Dual Type Tournament, which has a bunch of just ridiculous rules like bad items and there's tier limits and all. And I'm not getting into that because apparently confused some people. I, I don't think so, but whatever. So he leads off with a Blossom, and I know it's going to do some type of support move, so I taunt. And that shuts it down. He sends out a Gyarados knowing that I have no stab, which is one of the rules. And I wanted to get Toxic off, just because, you know, this team's actually Toxic stalling team. And Toxic. So, I can't really do anything at Gyarados now, so I withdraw and send out Rotom. And he sends out Ultra Turtle, the Blastoise. And it gets a burn. That was... Why did I burn? I don't know why I burned. But I predicted the switch, I suppose. And he talks to me, which I knew was coming, but I don't know. I don't know why I didn't let Electro take that. And that Toxic really hurt me later on. You'll see. It protects, you know, but since he protected on a switch, it's not going to do anything. And I taunt him because, you know, Blastoise is more support. And then he uses the Ice Beam, which is just like, meh. I have HP and it has basically no attack. So, whatever. I try to predict the switch using Toxic, plus I don't carry any attacking moves other than Explosion, so yeah. He activates my Citrus Berry. Item Clause isn't effective by the way, so that's why I have all different bad items. And then I just explode because I'm getting sick of this. And that is enough to take out his Blastoise, and we double down, which is it's actually a really delicious sandwich. The Blossom comes back out, and I send in Bring the Rain, the uh, a Bomb of Snow. And here we both sub up, which is really hilarious, because these next two turns, they're just ridiculous. We both sub up here, and then what's going to happen? Well, all these stupid secondary effects are going to happen. But uh, I'm going to go for the Focus Punch, and he can go for the Sledge Bomb, and he can get to the crit. Which, you know, crit on a sub, completely worthless. And then, oh, 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 what's this? Focus punch, boom! Focus punch, critical hit as well. So that's basically double crit. And essentially we just did the same moves on each other. Which is, I don't know, I thought it was kind of funny. No way, I withdraw Green to Rain and send out Freezer Burn because I think I can take out this thing with a Blizzard and I know it's going to Sludge Bomb. And it does do the Sludge Bomb, so I'm like, yay prediction. So here's all those secondary effects. The Hail, po me getting poisoned, which sucks. I get off the Blizzard, which has 100% accuracy in the Hail, so I don't have to worry about missing. And it doesn't take it out, so I'm just like, uh, gay. And then he has Shell Bell just to offset some of the uh, hail that he's going to be taking. But, you know, with hail and toxic, that Shell Bell is going to do jack all. And then that Leech Seed, not good on bulky Pokemon. Just, ugh, just sucks. So, yeah, lots of secondary effects. Take it out with another Blizzard, and that's going to finish it off. And, you know, Shell Bell, Hail, Toxic, blah, blah, blah. This, this spell is just really long. And does it was against Hixie 2? I have no clue. But it was long and epic, and Hixie 2 is awesome. So I withdraw, because another poison will take me out. And I send out Electric Slide, the... Manectric? Yeah. I think that's what it's called. Manectric. Because I carry the hidden power grass. Which is about all I can do to hit this thing super effective right now. And after a calm mine, it's not going to do much at all. And after two calm mines, it's really not going to do too much. So, I believe I crunch here and just pray for the defense drop. Because that's all I can do. No, I go for Thin Power again. Because I still think at plus two, Crunch will do more. 
or not crunch crunch less. I don't know. But anyway, I went for the empire electric. It takes him down. Not electric. Crap. Grass. It takes him down the half. Cast beams. It doesn't kill me surprisingly, which I thought I was going to. One more hit and I'm dead. So I'm just gonna go for the crunch here and pray for the fence drop because it's pretty much my only hope of taking this thing out at this point. And he goes for another combine. And I didn't get the defense drop, so I'm just like, crap. But that does leave me alive for another turn, so I do get to try again next turn. Which is awesome, because I still have enough in HP to uh, survive hail. And I get the defense drop this time, which was awesome. He goes for rest, which kind of expected, but I don't know. I got the defense drop, which is really what I was going for. Letting this thing set up. Because I have two things on this team that will just laugh at this, the ice beam that the Suicune has. And that's its only attack, so... What you can do. So, obviously a variation of Krokoon, but with an ice beam instead of Surf due to the no-stab rule. And it takes me out with Sleep Talk Ice Beam. Which, you know, whatever. That works, because Hail is going to take me out anyway. So I send back and bring the rain, and I step sub, and I think I hope it doesn't get ice beam this turn, and guess what? It does! So hey, I just kind of wasted a fourth of my HP. So uh, I figure he's going to ice beam next turn when he wakes up, so there's no point of setting up another sub, and I'm going to go for the leech seed. Leech seed thankfully hits so now I have hail and seed taking this thing's health down but you know it has rest which is gonna make for a really annoying battle and a really stally battle too and here comes the first part of the stall war glacier the stallrin versus this crocoon and I can't do drag to it, and it can't do drag to me. Even at plus six, it does, I believe the calc was 16 to 18 percent. Something really pointless and ridiculous. So, I believe he just tries to get to plus six right here, and I'm just trying to wear him down, hoping for a crit, or, I don't know, just stalling, because I figure I can beat him if I can stall him out of his turns of rest. And I really don't want him to switch, because I really like that defense drop, because it makes this thing a lot more manageable. Because, as you can see, Earthquake's doing jack-all to it, and that's with the defense drop. So, yeah, more sleep talk and speeding up, and I really wish I had the music button right there, but, you know, I was lazy in it. He finally decides he needs to switch and send out this Carnivine. And I'm like, okay, I'm behind the sub, I'm pretty safe, I think I can get Toxic off. So I go for the Toxic, which is awesome, because it doesn't miss. And, yeah, he sword stances, so I'm like, gay. But, you know, it's Carnivine, so I don't think it's as much attack. And I'm mainly a physical wall, so I don't know what's going to happen. I don't want him to like get the plus six, because that'd be a pain, so I do switch out right here. So I can go for a blizzard with Rotom. But then I think, wait, he probably expects to blizzard. I need to predict this switch. So I go for the pain split right here. And was it worth it? Yes, it was, because he sends back out his Crocoon. So I've just extended my life just a little bit longer, which is good. Because, I don't know. Just having more things alive is generally a good thing. Even if this Rotom is poisoned and pretty much fodder now. It's going to be some type of fire. Go for a blizzard here just to get some damage off. I look at how much it does. And then I look at uh, how much the hail does to it. And... I don't think I'm gonna be able to take it out with another blizzard. And I just go for the pain split here just in case he decides to switch. And he doesn't. And of course he wakes up and rests. 
which is like, oh, well, bye, Rotom. Because he's going to gain full health. And then Hail and Toxic are going to take out this Rotom. So, bye bye Rotom. You, you, you did good. You you took out the Blossom and you, you didn't do much else really. You burned the Blastoise, but ooh. Okay, so anyway, I sent out Articuno and he uh, sent out his Gyarados because he doesn't like the Articuno Suicune matchup. And I go for War Pulse just because I want the Confusion Hacks. And hey, I get the Confusion Hacks! So, that's the only reason I have this on that Articuno. And this is a sub toxic stalling Articuno, so yeah, I have at least two toxic stallers on this team. He survives through the confusion hacks and gets off a stone edge, which doesn't miss, which I was like, uh, breaks my sub, but I know I'm faster. So I can sub all day until one of those things misses, and Toxic is just going to wear him down. Which is all cool and good, because the speed is really key on this Arcuno, honestly. Arcuno would totally be OU if it wasn't for Stealth Rocks, taking away half of its HP each time it comes in. Oh, such a pain. So if he went for the Dragon Dance, thinking, oh, hey look, the speed is important on this. I just need to be able to break the sub. And then get off to Stone Edge. And then here comes this super sped up part. Because, yeah, this battle was over an hour. So I had to <laughs> speed things up to 100 times. And yeah, you might have heard uh, my roommate Kyle snickering over there. He's uh, he's going to narrate a battle for me because I'm too lazy to narrate one of them. Yeah. So this is just me trying to survive against this Suicune that I can do nothing at all to. I'm just trying to get it out of all of its rests. That is my only hope. I'm like, okay, if I can get it out of all of its rests and get a Toxic off, I can win. And it was really strange that nothing missed. Like, those Toxics, they didn't miss. I think I missed one Toxic this whole battle. Oh, spoilers, but whatever. So he has a Tangrowth, and it's a Growth Tangrowth, which was actually kind of cool. And I got Toxic off on it. Which was good, because I can't do anything else to it. And it has ancient power, which kind of sucks for me. But, and then here I run a calc, and I realized that it would be a lot better for me to roost than to just sub up, because I'll actually have more health. And, hey, the toxic finally takes it out. And he, here I'm stunned the Gyarados. That ice thing right there. That was actually a misclick, he said. And that may have costume game may not have not sure how much it mattered it probably mattered a little bit but I'm not sure how much because I think I'm still gonna get the Gyarados down with this Arcoon though but anyway he puts me asleep right here after a little bit more stalling and I don't want to burn to sleep because I think that he's going to go back to Suicune, or no. I know he's going to try to kill me, that's right, because he knows Arcuno complete wall Suicune. And, uh, yeah, here, that switch was kind of important right there, because if I left Walrin in, he could have easily set up and stalled me out, but, you know, I burned to sleep off, thankfully woke up within, like, three turns, and then just had to stall this thing for the rest of God knows how long, because... Oh, this was such a long battle, but it, it's kind of boring to watch, but it really was epic because neither one of us was going to give up this huge hour-long stall war, and yeah, I'm out of Toxic right there, so that's why I switched. And this is actually going to be it. He realizes he can't do anything to me, runs, amazing game, Hixie 2, battle again sometime, rate, comment, sub, Later, guys.